The Central Bank of China, the PBOC, is hiring a team of people to develop a new digital currency which utilizes the blockchain technology. They join the other central banks which have publicly declared they're looking into the feasibility of blockchain. This could really be a game changer. You came here for the truth. Today we are going to look at China. I want to show you a few other issues. Let's begin first with this. You've probably seen this billboard before. I've covered it here on this channel. Many news outlets have covered it as well. What we are talking about here is the world's reserve currency. What you have today is the US being the reserve currency of the world, but you've heard a lot of countries talking about going away from the US dollar. Then you have the actual actions of various governments where they've decided to do business without using the US dollar. It's something very interesting that's going on. We are seeing barter taking place between India and Iran, if that uh, my memory serves me correctly, where they exchange gold for oil. We have seen the currency swaps taking place between China and dozens of nations. We have been witnessing a big change. Now, the reserve currency status gives that particular country a monopoly because they're able to accumulate so much debt knowing it's going to be bought up. Now, things are changing. Countries are looking towards new technologies and the blockchain seems to be the talk of the town today. You could see this going on right now with the rise of cryptocurrencies, the rise of blockchain technology, really making it into the mainstream. You can see this as being something potentially for the future of the banking industry, of the different trust industries. This is very important to say the least and I know that we will look back five years down the road, 10 years down the road, and understand that this is a very important time, perhaps not for you and I, but maybe for the business itself. So let's look at this here for a moment and understand that China is doing something right now that could be groundbreaking for them. China's central bank is recruiting blockchain experts to step up efforts to develop an official digital currency, okay? This is coming from Shanghai Daily. This would be something that isn't something to take lightly. This is a very big step. It doesn't mean that tomorrow they're going to create this digital currency It's going to put the U.S. out of business. Absolutely not. But what it means is that they are taking a step into this direction. I don't know what's going to come of it exactly, but you can see what they're doing. Now, they've been looking into this since 2014 to sort of do their research, and many other countries have done the same thing. The People's Bank of China's Institute of Printing Science is offering six positions on the design and development of digital currency-related software and hardware framework, a recruitment notice said. So this is official. It's official information that's happening right now. As I've said, this is not the okay, the US dollar is going to crash tomorrow. But what it does mean is that this central bank, amongst others, are looking for new ways to issue a currency, to do business, to transact, to be able to do all the things they do today in a very different way. I think that's big. I think it's very big. It doesn't necessarily mean that Bitcoin is going to rise to $10,000 because of this information. But I do believe it is relatively bullish for digital currencies as a whole because it sort of gives them a little bit more credit as a result of this. I don't think that necessarily the People's Bank of China, if they were going to use a digital currency, that means that, for example, Ethereum is therefore worth more or it's safer or anything else. I just think it gives more credibility to the digital currencies. I mean, you're already on digital currencies to begin with. That's primarily what uh, every currency is at this time, despite how much cash might be out there. You can see that 
the blockchain technology is going to become something very important. And blockchain doesn't equate to Bitcoin. People need to understand how this works. The digital currency itself, Bitcoin, Ether, and all the others that you see out there are not what you know the underlying structure is. The underlying structure is called blockchain. And blockchain is something that could be used by many different industries. It literally, you can think of it as having nothing to do with the digital currency. Okay, people need to shake that idea. A lot of a lot of talk is really sort of blending the two together, and I obviously they are connected. But I think people need to get past that, understand what exactly blockchain is. I'm not an expert, I'll tell you that much. But from what I do know, this could be the way that a lot of these institutions are going. So I suggest definitely just peek around, watch a few videos about it, and try to understand understand not what Bitcoin or, or Ethereum is, but try to understand what blockchain is, okay? It's, I think it's important. Even if you're not going to put a single ounce of digital money into Bitcoin or anything else, okay? I just think it's important to look at. We, know, we need to know where the future's heading, okay? Now, switching gears here just for a moment, GM dealer inventory. What we are looking at is the car apocalypse. I mean, the inventories have risen to a 10-year high at this point. But at the same time, we have very, very low rates for people to get cars. I mean, they're, they're so cheap right now. The financing is unbelievably cheap historically and yet the inventories are piling up look at this domestic car sales this is ridiculous general motors okay as an example year over year change minus 33 percent ford 23 and uh, Chrysler 19 minus 19 you're looking at massive reductions in the amount of cars that are being purchased that are being financed right now at this time. You, you don't see these kind of drops often. You need to understand that that is big. That is very big. Why? I believe there are many reasons why this could happen. A lot of people will say that, you know, this is nothing. This is just simply, look, it's a little blip. But I would have to disagree. I think that what we are seeing here is that people are cash strapped at this time, or at least a large bunch of the population is cash strapped, and they simply can't take on any more debt. They'll take on more debt, I assure you, but not unless they're given more debt. So if all of a sudden they can have a credit limit expansion of $5,000, we'll get people buying more stuff. That's the way it is. So that's the way I look at it anyway. That's something else. I want to switch gears yet again to something that I watch. It's a very short clip. I suggest everybody watch this. Uh, the link will be in the description. You just go to sources, click on sources, and then click on the link that I used. I, I mean, this is Mosul. After... All of the fighting that has taken place, I mean, this looks like it's a computer graphic. Looks like it's something out of a movie. And you'll see it for yourself. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. It looks like a nuclear bomb went off. And it's sad. It's, it's unbelievable to see it, how destructive this can be. Look at what war does. And then you look at all these people who are displaced from here. I don't know if, if this was my home, I'd be pretty pissed off. That's just the way I look at it anyway. Watch the video. It's very short. It's it's one minute long. Anyway, that's all I want to say. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. And last but not least, if you found the video informative, I know you will find my books. The Money GPS and my new release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. You can flip through the books if you're interested. That is at Amazon. The link is in the description. If you are too busy to read, if you are 
um, unable to read for any other reason, you just want that audio version, then you can get the Global Economic Collapse audiobook at themoneygps.com. Take care.